Materials used in this video are available from Jameco Electronics. As you probably already know, the most common way to transmit a signal in electronics is with electricity over a metal conductor. But that's not the only way. A signal can also be transmitted optically with the help of a little extra hardware. Watch. This simple fiber optics kit transmits an analog audio signal as light. Fiber optics are best known for their use in digital communication, but the same basic elements are used here. First, a transmitter module to convert our original signal into light. This transmitter uses a small microphone and an operational amplifier chip to convert sound into changing brightness levels of an LED. The receiver module does just the opposite, converting light back into electricity. In this case, our receiver senses changes in light using a phototransistor. The phototransistor's output is then amplified and sent through a small speaker. Light travels from the transmitter to the receiver over, you guessed it, fiber optic cable. This is the sound of my voice transmitted by photons. Oh, watch the feedback. So by now you might be asking, why use optical over basic copper wire? Well, for starters, optical fiber is immune to electromagnetic interference. This means it doesn't need to be shielded from outside noise sources and we don't need to worry about crosstalk from other nearby lines. Plus, optical fibers can handle much higher frequencies over longer distances, which makes them a really good choice for delivering high-speed internet access. And everybody loves that, right? So by now you might be wondering, why don't we use fiber optics like everywhere? Well, on top of the necessary conversion hardware, Manufacturing fiber optic cable itself is a pretty challenging and costly process, though it is becoming more and more affordable. An optical fiber works using a process called total internal reflection. And each fiber is actually made up of two different materials, a core and a cladding. Because the core and cladding allow light to pass through them at different speeds, light that hits the boundary between them ends up reflecting back into the core and subsequently moving on down the line. For short distances, we can use a plastic fiber core as is used in this kit here. But to maintain signal integrity over very long distances at high frequencies, we need to use a core made from very pure glass. Optical fiber can be classified into two basic types. Multimode fiber allows light to travel through its core along a number of different paths, or modes as they're called. Some of the light will travel straight through the fiber, while some of it will bounce off the core's sides at different angles. This scattering causes the output of multimode fiber to be ever so slightly messy, but it only becomes a real issue when we send a signal over very long distances, like say several miles. When more precision is needed, single-mode fiber can be used. Single-mode 
only allows light to travel in a straight line. So all of the light arrives at the receiver at the same time, which means the output matches the input exactly. So in a nutshell, that's the basics of fiber optics. And in my experience, I've found cats much prefer single mode fiber. Right, Nitty? To transmit your own voice as light, check out the Fiber Optics Kit, available at jameco.com.